Welcome back to another video, man. And today we have Usher um, Confessions. This is part three of the album reaction. I know I've been slacking, you feel me? I've really been slacking on the videos, but you know, I was going through some things, going through, you know, my own personal battles, but you know, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. I plan on staying back and, you know, working my way back up. You feel me? Working my, working my way back up to where I was at once at. So, you know, we're going to jump straight into it. I don't know if how long y'all been watching, but if y'all remember this scene right here, this is why this is like 2023, late 2023, 2024, early 2024. I was in this exact seat right here. This is where I used to do it. And then I started re now I'm reacting in my car. You feel me? So this is about to bring back a little bit of nostalgia. I think I kind of prefer to record in here. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. Y'all let me know which one y'all like more. You feel me? But we about to jump straight into it. First song we got is called, um, I think it's, we already did Can You Handle It? So next song we got is called Do It To Me. Let's see what he talking about on here, man. <laughs> Before y'all say anything, yes, I put my I put earbuds in, I put AirPods in. So I feel like the quality of music is better, you feel me? I feel like it's better because I have earbuds in and it's catching all the bass and all of that stuff. I know as people be like, why you got earbuds in while you're listening to music? It's just quality. In my opinion, I think the quality sounds better. That's just in my opinion. You feel me? But hey. Mind your business real quick, real quick. We wait to see you later. Late dinner reservations. At no room is the child. You just pick the location. Now we're sitting at the table. Sipping the finest wine. Having the day we time. I know what's all your mind. Give it to you. 
got a question though. You feel me? Um, I'm looking at the credits. Also, I see uh, Jermaine Dupri. That's his name. Hold up, because the song started over. Uh, Jermaine Dupri. Um, it seemed like he worked very closely with him on this album. I think he was on Confessions Part One and Confessions Part Two. You feel me? But also, I know that was uh, Jermaine Dupri's story. Usher just sung it. You feel me? I don't. I think Usher wrote it, or maybe. Uh, Jermaine Dupri wrote it and Usher just sung it. Like he, Jermaine Dupri got Usher, Usher to sing it. Like use his voice, basically. It's like a Aaliyah and um, Missy Elliott type of thing. Missy Elliott wrote the song, One in a Million, but Aaliyah voice is the one that sung it because her voice, I guess, went better with it. But yeah, that's that's crazy. Like. Also, I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't know if I mentioned the Diddy thing with Usher. How y'all feeling though? What 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 what, what Diddy got going? Y'all think Usher got something to do with um? You feel me? With with anything? Do y'all personally think? I hear Usher going absolutely insane. I seen Usher uh, at his show. He was trying to feed Halle Bailey a, a cherry. <laughs> Her boyfriend DDG. <laughs> I know DDG very well. Well, not know him personally, obviously, but I, I know him in a sense of. I used to watch him on YouTube and I used to listen to his music. I don't listen to his music, not so much now, but um, I used to listen to his music when I was younger. Honestly, he's the reason why I, I, I do YouTube. He's part of the reason why I do YouTube. He made me want to become a YouTuber, but he wasn't the person that pushed me to do YouTube. But he gave me the hope that one day a brother will soon be doing YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You feel me, man? But also, yeah, but like I say, y'all let me know if y'all think Usher got anything to do with anything. Do y'all think he's a victim? Do you think he's a part of it? I don't know because they said Usher was very locked in with uh, Diddy. He was locked in with him when he was younger. Like not locked in, but he stayed with Diddy. And Usher, I seen in interviews, Usher was saying he's seen a lot of things that no kid should have seen and all of that stuff. And then, you know, uh, Usher, I guess he discovered Justin Bieber or he took Justin Bieber under his wing and then sent Justin Bieber to Diddy for like two days. And that brother Justin Bieber, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to Justin Bieber. I never really did. I mean, keep it a buck with you. I kind of had to, though. If you got like girl siblings or girl cousins and stuff like that, you're going to hear Justin Bieber back in the day. Baby, all that type stuff. Freak out of here. Especially if you watch The Karate Kid, never say never. Like, that's all, man, listen. Karate Kid with uh, Jaden Smith, you couldn't, you couldn't escape Justin Bieber. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. But, um, yeah, man. Y'all comment down below. I'll tell you what y'all think about that song, Do It To Me. I'm going to rate that song a 9.6. I think that's one of the better songs off the album, in my opinion. Like, so far, off the album, out of... 15 songs. This is the 15 song that we heard. It's one, two, three, four. I got four 10 out of 10 songs off this album. Four 10 out of 10 songs. This is one of my favorites, though. Do It To Me. It's like a vibe song. He wasn't really saying too much, but it was definitely a vibe song. Like, it was, you know, if I heard this, I definitely would probably run it back. Like, I like that song. That's one of my favorite songs off the album. But next song, oh, I forgot to rate it. I'm going to give it a 9.6. 9.6, you feel me? 9.6. Next song we do got, though, is called Take Your Hand. Let's see what he's talking about on here, man. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And 
Man, that's Take Your Hand. That kind of remind me of like a Michael Jackson song. I'm not gonna lie to you. That kind of, like not Michael Jackson song, but a Michael Jackson type vibe. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Was Usher inspired by Michael Jackson? And also, I got a question for all the Usher supporters, which I already kind of know what y'all gonna say if y'all are really an Usher supporter, but if y'all are real and genuine, who do y'all think is better, Usher or Chris Brown? I've been hearing that, um, I don't know if y'all know this woman, her name is Jaguar Wright, you feel me? She said that Usher is scared to go on tour with Chris Brown because everybody would be cheering for Chris Brown more than Usher. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I thought they were cool. So I don't know um, what's going on. I don't know why it's a competition between two people that are cool. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I mean, unless they have a friendly competition going on, but it, I haven't heard anything about that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You feel me? So y'all let me know who y'all think would be like the bigger artist if they were to go on tour together. Chris Brown or Usher? Y'all let me know inside the comment section box down below. But like I was saying, this is definitely giving me Michael Jackson vibes. And I only mentioned Chris Brown because I know Chris Brown looked up to Michael Jackson as far as like, I guess the dancing. And he's like, the. I would say like, if you had to compare an artist to Michael Jackson, singing wise, I guess you could say Chris Brown. Chris Brown... I, he's one of those type of people where I would consider him an artist. He's not a singer. He's not a rapper. He's an artist. An artist is a person who do who who does both, who rap and sing. That's what I consider an artist. A rapper is a person who just raps. A singer is a person that just sing. Chris Brown is multi talented. You feel me? He's an artist. He know how to sing. He knows how to rap. <laughs> so yeah, Usher. He's a singer. I've never heard Usher a day in my life ever rap. You feel me? I heard him sing a lot. <laughs> you feel me? We reach a climax together. Now we unspark together. Man, that's my favorite Usher song. That's like that's like the type of songs I grew up on. I grew up listening like listening to this album confessions uh burn i grew up listening to that yeah grew up listening to that confessions part two grew up listening to that those are the only three songs i grew up listening to and i remember this uh album cover i know it's backwards for y'all i grew up seeing this album cover on the tv a lot um, y'all know, um, it's a channel on the TV. It's like channel like 500, channel 200, one of them. It's like the high numbers. And they used to have the, um, music, the music, uh, TV station. And it's like, I think it's like music choice. I think that's what it's called. It's like black and it just plays music all day. They got different stations for different, um, genres of music. They got rock, rap, R&B, and I remember hearing this song on there a lot or just hearing a lot of different artists. I don't know if it was that or I don't know. I don't I don't know how I heard this song, but I definitely heard this song a lot. Burn, Confessions, and Yeah. But like I said in part one, I never knew Yeah was by Usher. <laughs> I thought Yeah was by um, Lil Jon. I thought Usher was featured, but this is Usher songs. That makes a big difference because I would never think Usher would be on a song like yeah well i would never think he would have a song like yeah that is his i can see if you featured on it because you know you're making money off of it but that's your song you own that song like you came up with the song and you just added two other people you got two other people to be on it feel me but take take your hand i'm gonna get out of 9.4 even though that remind me of michael jackson i like michael jackson a lot i have a couple of reactions with michael jackson too if you haven't go check those out you feel me but um yeah uh take your hand i'm gonna give it a 9.4 only because he he's not michael jackson the brother's not michael jackson but i like that i, I like that type vibe next song we got is called follow me let's see what he talking about on here man
Like when I just heard that, I wonder. I'm trying to figure out what artist did I just hear. Like obviously that's Usher, but I feel like I I heard another artist with that type of style, and I like it. It's like in time. Like it's how he said. It's how he said it. Like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping, but I don't know. I'm trying to think what artist did I just hear. It reminded me of an artist so much. That's why I only see myself with you I think I know who it is Y'all do y'all know the artist named Jacquees Jacquees got it from Usher Apparently because I listen to a lot of Jacquees. Jacquees is my favorite R&B singer, in my opinion. I think he's, I wouldn't say he's the best, but I think he's, he's my favorite. He's just my favorite. Since I haven't heard any other R&B artists for real, besides, I mean, this. I think this is my first R&B al album that I've heard, like, that I've ever reacted to. Unless you want to consider, uh, 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 Lauren, or, okay, I'm lying. I listened to One in a Million. I listened to um, Aaliyah album. Aaliyah album called Aaliyah. Uh, I listened to those albums, but would y'all consider that under R&B? One in a Million, I can consider that R&B. Aaliyah, she was going for a different sound on that album. So I don't know if you would consider that like pop, like not funk, but like she was on a different type vibe on that album compared to One in a Million. Lauren Hill album, would you consider that a, a rap album? Would y'all consider that a R&B album? I don't know. But this is like my first, second, maybe third R&B album, depending on what you consider R&B. If, I don't know. I don't know. It all depends on what y'all consider it. I, I consider one in a million. I, I guess you can consider that R&B album. You feel me? <laughs> oh yeah, but Jacquees definitely uh, not stole this from him, but you could tell he was inspired by Usher because I hear Jacquees in this, but you know, Usher came before Jacquees, so I can't say Jacquees stole this from Usher. I mean, I can't say Usher stole this from Jacquees because Usher came before Jacquees. <laughs> When I say Jacquees, I mean early age Jacquees. I'm not talking about Jacquees now. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about like, this is like when he was doing the Queen mixes, like when he was doing the um, remix of everybody else's songs, except his own. This brother would make music except his own. This brother would remix the mess. It's to the point where he don't even call them remixes. He call them Queen mixes <laughs> because he, but hey, I'm not gonna lie. That brother destroyed any artist. If he, Remix your song, you might as well say R.I.P. to your song because nobody's gonna remember. Like LML, uh, Trip, that brother. I keep my gun on safety, mm -mm 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 -mm. so I don't go shoot and where you'll be. Come on now, Jacquees is him. He's him. okay, don't do it. Sometimes I gotta go where I don't feel like going. 
to you i'm not gonna lie to you follow me i'm gonna rate that a 10 i actually like that song i like that song a lot actually i'm gonna keep it real i i think that's the best song that i heard so far that's the best song that i heard so far um off this part not off the whole album off this part but next song we got is called my boo featuring alicia keys let's see what they talking about on here man there's always that one person. I know this song right here. I know this song. Okay, off rip. My baby. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I think you said my boo, because that's the name of the song. My boo. I feel like you said my baby. I don't know. That will always have your heart. You or you said, oh, baby. Or something like that. I don't know. Blinded from the start. Know that you're that one for me. Alicia Keys rap? I thought Alicia Keys was a singer. Alicia Keys raps? This whole time, listen, I didn't think I knew this song. That's why I said I didn't know it, like, by the title, but... Because I didn't know Alicia Keys was, or I didn't know she rapped on this. I thought this was like Missy Elliott growing up. <laughs> I thought this was Missy Elliott, or I thought this was like a female rapper. Like, I never heard Alicia Keys rap before. You gotta rock your way to this one. Come on. See, I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. And uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. And uh, it's the only way we know how to rock. Do you remember? Thank you. 
It's the only way we know how to rock. Okay, that's my boo, man. That's my boo. Uh, obviously, that song got to get a 10. Obviously, that song got to get a 10. That's the song that I, I knew. I did not know I knew, but I knew it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. Clap it up for Usher. Clap it up for Usher, man. Usher, he's doing his, he's doing his thing dizzle. He's doing his thing dizzle. For this to be the first album that I heard by Usher, I don't know if this is his first album, but I know this is one of his biggest albums, if it's not his first so um this is definitely one of those ones like this is a great introduction to um who he is and his body of work so far you feel me it's a great introduction to him but next song we got is called red light let's see what he's talking about on here man that's crazy singing version of it without Ludacris and Lil John, without the energy. Without the energy, this is like a singing yeah, in my opinion. Just off the beat, you feel me? Just off the beat. I should have known that you let me go, girl. I gotta be dreaming cause I never felt like this. It was so Back in my mind, now you set me hard. I 
So that brother fell in love with a girl that he was supposed to have a one night stand with, basically. <laughs> and, and now he's wondering where this girl is looking at. He's searching for this girl. He's looking high up and down. He gave this girl his number and he's wondering why hasn't she came back? Because the way I put it now, she should be back. Or maybe because she's used to this type of treatment. <laughs> nah, that's probably one of the most dangerous girls you can ever fool with. I'd rather get set up by a girl for a girl to break my heart like that. You think you giving your all to this girl. And she's used to ghosting people no matter how good it is. Now you left clueless. I'd rather, listen, I'd rather a girl set me up. <laughs> I'd rather a girl set me up and get me off this earth on me. I cannot live like that. I cannot live. Like, imagine seeing a girl that you fell in love with. You did things with her and you never hear from her again. You have no way in contact with her. No way in contact with her. You thought it was a special moment and she just left you like nothing. Set me up. Please set me up. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to live. Oh, my God. Nah, I'm going to keep it real with you. What's going on? <laughs> Come on. Now. Get that song a 9.8. I'm gonna get that song a 9.8. That's a 9.8, in my opinion. That's one of them ones. Red light, that's why am I sitting out looking out for her? I know I ain't say that right, but listen, that song one of them ones. That's one of them ones. That's one of them ones for sure. That's that's getting a 9.8. It could easily pass as a 10, too. That could pass as a 10. I don't want to put it on that tier, though. Is it up there with yeah? And the crazy part is, I compared it to yeah. Confessions 2 is definitely a 10. Burn is a 10. What else? What, what other songs did I rate it 10? I rated yeah 10. I rated Confessions Part 2 a 10. I rated Burn a 10. And I rated That's What It's Made For. That's What It Is Made For. Oh! Nah, that song a 10. That's a 10. That's what it's made for. Oh, I have not heard that song since the last time I reacted to it. And I still remember the harmony. I remember how it went. That's what it's made for. Oh, my God. That's a 10 for sure. That's a 10. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy to give this a 9.8. I'm happy to give this a 9.8 for sure. You feel me? Next song we got is called Seduction. Let's see what he's talking about on here, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't do it. Baby, turn the ground, stick it out. I want to see it. She made the first move. Crazy to say that's one of them ones too. That's one of them ones too. Hey, ah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it a 9.7. I'm gonna give it a 9.7. I think it's a little, it's a little below red light. It's a little below red light. Listen, but red light could be a 10. Don't get it twisted. Red light could definitely be a 10. It could be a 10. I'm not gonna take that away. But next song we got, and the last song we got is called Confessions Part 2 Remix, featuring Sean, and I think. What to say? I think I know that I don't say T Pain. I know that I don't say T Pain. It's loading slow. It's loading slow. Bear with me, guys. Uh, it's Shine, oh Twister, and Kanye West. This is the second Kanye West album reaction I've seen with a remix. You feel me? Uh, uh, Lil Wayne, Lollipop. Uh, Kanye West was on the remix. I wonder how Kanye West gonna sound on here. But after this, we're gonna jump into my top five. Well, my top five, my honorable mission, what I rate this part of the album, and then what I rate the whole entire album. You feel me? From all three parts. So let's see what I'm what he what the he or they talk about on here, man. Yo, what's up? Hey. 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 What's up? What's up? Yeah, listen, baby. No sense, best we don't talk no more And I gotta get it off my chest I thought I should have been here with babe I, I, thought you was that God I got You would never leave my side I really made you out to be the woman that I will be with for life I took in your feet, did everything that you wanted me to Now me looks 
about you fronting on me in your many views Do it make you feel good to lie, even though it leave you wanna cry Hey, if you go and tell them, you should've told everything Instead of making me the bad guy, it's too good Nah, this old rap and singing thing? Y'all told me Mariah Carey started it. Somebody told me in part one that R. Kelly started it. Who started it? Those are both different genders, genders, but they in the same genre of music. Y'all let me know. <laughs> this brother's killing it though, for sure. No radio, many views. Do it make you feel good to lie. Even though it leave you want to cry. Hey, if you go and tell it, you should have told everything. Instead of making me the bad guy. If you got nothing good to say, then don't say nothing. Because if I really start talking, then I'll be something. So you cheated, I cheated, so be it. We need to leave it alone. Move on. Two guys. Hold on. You have a correct call from Correctional Facility. Will you accept the charges? Yes, I'll accept it. What's up? Sitting in my cell, had to bust the bumps up. Would have been alive if I didn't bumps up. Had to lay something for the bit to say, but I'd be in the grave if I didn't let it scream. Never said that I was perfect. Nobody walking on the surface. That night, I would have gotten murdered if I ain't grabbed the picture and let the cow was having fun. Listen up, listen up, listen up, world. Listen up, listen up, listen up, world. I gotta confess, just the hottest remix I ever did in my life. So, 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 it's a my confession. This when I thought I'd say all I can say, my shit on the side. Confession, man, I just throw it. I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta give part two of my confession. But I knew I really should have been just telling you the truth. Uh -oh. And I confess about the days I was rolling my severe with the custom gold green. Uh -huh. I was in the field still looking for a thrill, and I knew it was bogus. I should have kept it real. Uh -huh. And I confess it. What the freak? No. <laughs> nah, this Twister? This Twister? Listen, listen, y'all been telling me to react to Twister. But I ain't know this brother was coming like this now. Oh me, I didn't know he was coming like this. Drop some Twister reactions, please. 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 Listen, I'm gonna keep it real. Shine, you had the worst verse. Usher. Usher, that's your song. I, I, I'm going to give you the number one spot. I'm going to give you the number one spot. You got the best verse. This song is already goaded without him. Twister got the second best. Kanye. Kanye. You can't get no worse than Shine. That brother was in jail. That brother was talking about grabbing a ratchet on a confession song. I mean, I guess you dropped your confessions, but that's the wrong confessions. We talking about women. You talking about confessions about how you had to pop somebody. You talking the wrong confessions, my brother. <laughs> wrong, wrong genre of music. <laughs> Come on. It's a woman out my heart and these are my confessions. Uh -huh. This when I thought I said I can say my shit on the side. So she got one on the way. It's in my confession. Man, I throw it. I don't know what to do. I guess I got to keep part two of my confessions. If I'm going to tell it, then I got to tell it all. Bring 
it up, how did she break it down? Uh -huh. Man, you at the clinic? Oh, slow down, that's your child. But if you keep it, then you gotta tell your girl you was cheating. Yeah. And you went raw dog when you beat it. That's when she gon' tell you to beat it. And you know when they y'all are the secret. You famous. You oh my good. <sighs> he said, dang, how did how did she bring it up? How did she break it down? You feel me? Man, you at the clinic, dog, slow down. That's your child. But if you keep it, then you gotta tell your girl you was cheating. And you went raw, dog, when you beat it. That's when she gonna tell you to just beat it. <laughs> nah, come on now. Come on. And you know it ain't it ain't y'all little secret. You famous. Can't go nowhere. Cause every time you go there, there's there's uh uh ends there. So basically you and your girl over. That brother talking. Basically, he's saying like if you get rid of it. It's like it's messed up because that's your child. But if you keep it, you got to tell your girl you went raw dog and another girl got another girl pregnant. And then you're going to break up. But then again, if you tell her, she got to understand because you famous though. But then it's like she's a girl, so she's probably not going to understand. It's like, not. Nah, he's telling it from all aspects though. Damn. How did she bring it up? How did she break it down? Uh -huh. Man, you at the clinic? Oh, slow down. That's, That's your child. child. But if you keep it, then you gotta tell your girl you was cheating. Yeah. And you went raw dog when you beat it. That's when she gonna tell you to beat it. And you know when ain't y'all little secret. You famous, you can't go nowhere. Uh -huh. Cause every time you go there, it's there. So basically, you and your girl over. Yeah. And I know when she broke the news, she told her, man, don't say that. Matter of fact, like Pat, don't say that. Every time I'm sitting on paychecks, things come up from way, way, way back. Way back. Way back, way, way back. These are my confessions. Uh -huh. This when I thought I said all I can say. My chick on the side said she got one on the way. These are my confessions. Man, I'm thrown and I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta keep on two of my confessions. If I'm gonna tell it, then I gotta tell it all. Confessions. Nah, that's hard. That's ha nah, nah. Confessions part two remix. <sighs> Confessions part two remix. That's a ten. <laughs> That's a 10. 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 I don't care what nobody said. That's a 10. That's a definitely a 10. Uh, I, I don't know no other way how to put it. Like, that's a 10. Like, I, I can't even deny it. You feel me? That's a 10. I don't know if it's better than the original one. I feel like the shine guy, I don't know who the freak that brother is. I think he was with Diddy. That's the crazy part. I think he was with Diddy. But um, if he wasn't on there, I could confidently say this is a 10. But because it's Confessions Part 2, Twista did his thing. I say Twista had a better flow. He had the best flow, obviously. Usher had the best verse. Kanye had, like, probably the deepest verse. <laughs> and Shy had the most pointless verse. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Shy had the most pointless verse out of everybody. What's going on? This brother started talking about gats and straps. <laughs> and he's talking from a jail call. What's going on? I mean, I, I get the concept, but come on now. But, you know, we about to jump into my top five and my honorable mentions. Would I rate this part of the album? Would I rate the whole entire whole album? So, you know, let's see what I'm talking about on here, man. All right, guys. So, my number one song off the album is Confessions Part 2 Remix coming in at a 10. My second favorite song off the album is My Boo also coming in at a 10. My third favorite song is Follow Me, also coming in at a 10. So my top three off this album so far is all coming in at a 10. Uh, my fourth favorite song is Red Light, coming in at a 9.8. Also could have been a 10. I wouldn't be mad at you if you had that at a 10. And then my fifth favorite song is Seduction, coming in at a 9.5. I mean, 9.7, coming in at my fifth song. So y'all comment down below. Y'all tell me what y'all think about my top five right there. Are those songs rated too high, too low? Y'all let me know inside the comment section box down below, man. 
And then for my honorable mention, my number one honorable mention is Do It To Me coming in at a 9.6. And then my second honorable mention is Take Your Hand coming in at a 9.4. Y'all comment down below. Y'all tell me what y'all think about those ratings right there. or those songs rated too high, too low? Y'all let me know inside the comment section box down below, man. <clears throat> But for the overall rating for this part of the album right here, man, we're going to give it a 9.78 out of 10. You feel me? Y'all comment down below. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the, uh, that rating for this part of the album, just for part three. You feel me? Y'all comment down below. But for the overall rating for the whole entire album, part one, uh, let's see. What did I rate part one? Part one, I rated it a 9.71. Part two... I rated it a 9.6. And then for part three, I rated it a 9.78. So the overall rating for the whole entire part of this album right here, man, we're going to give it a 9.69 out of 10. You feel me? Y'all comment down below. Y'all tell me what y'all think about those ratings right there. Is the overall rating for this part of the album and the overall rating for the whole entire album. Is that fair to say? Y'all let me know your opinions in the comment section box down below. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description box down below along with part one and part two. If y'all haven't go, if y'all haven't uh, check those albums, those reactions out yet. You feel me? But y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell to be notified every time I drop a video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Hope y'all enjoyed, man. Hey.